So today I'm testing out some pliers sent to me from the Zeron company. I'm excited to try some new pliers. They even sent me some crimpers, which I'm super excited to try. So the first ones, the first ones I'm going to try are these double flush cutters. They're number 691 and they can be used on soft wire up to 12 gauge or half hard wire up to 16 gauge. These are called double flush cutters because when you cut the wire, this is an 18 gauge piece of wire, when you cut it you're going to get a flat cut on both sides of the wire. Uh, these are really cool cutters. They're actually very comfortable to hold. The spring is really good. The handles are nice and soft. So these would be a great addition to any toolkit. So in the flat nose pliers, I have these tweezer nose pliers. They're smooth and they're number 450. They have a nice uh, fine tip. And again, the lovely soft handles and a decent spring. And then these ones are number 485, the long nose pliers, also smooth, and they have a slightly wider uh, area for bending. You can compare the two like that. I'm gonna test these out after, I'm just showing you for now. And then these ones are number 450, and they're the tweezer bent nose pliers, so they have the rounded nose. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used these bent nose pliers. I've never used them, so it's going to be fun to try them out. The last pair of pliers they sent me are the round nose pliers. These are number 488, and they seem to have nice fine tips on them. They also sent me these four in one crimpers with the chain nose uh, tip and with the instructions on the back. So we're gonna test these ones out as well. So I'll just cut a little piece of wire here. Makes a nice little flush cut on the end. So these are the long nose pliers and I'm gonna use these just to bend some right angles in the wire. So we're gonna hold it in place. And then I like to, when I bend my right angles, just to push it with my thumb. So that makes a nice little angle there. And then if we want to use a measurement on the pliers, we're just gonna go around and we can make like a little frame. So we're just gonna bring this one around. Maybe they still wanna make it a little higher, so I'll just measure it on there. Go across, and the same over here. I just use a measurement on the pliers just to bring that one across. And then I'm gonna just sort of eyeball the middle of it and push this up. These are very comfortable. To hold these pliers they make nice little bends and the metal is really nice and smooth. So what I like to do to finish these at the top is I like to help the bend with my round pliers. So these are the round nose pliers that they sent me. They're really nice and smooth. We're going to hold that in shape, bend that around and see if it's nicely centered. We can always like pull it back a bit and around and I'm just going to take that and give it a little bit of a tug on there. I can cut this with the double flush cutter, but if you want to get into some little spaces, you're going to want to use sort of one of these more pointy flush cutters. They have several styles available. And then I'm just going to pinch that one in a little bit. And then when I do my loop at the top, I like to bend this sort of perpendicular and then I can put it directly onto my necklace cord and then use this to make the round shape. Bring it all the way around here. You could still make a decent size loop on there. Then we'll take the long nose pliers and hold it and just bring this one around a couple of times. Clip it there and then just push this one in place. If you need to get in there a little more just get your tweezer nose pliers and just push it in there and there you have like a basic frame. So I want to put something in the frame. I'm just going to get the round nose pliers and just make a little flower shape. So we're just going to use the tip to make the little curve and the larger part to make the wider curve and we're just going to work our way around 
and make a simple little flower shape. This is the 22 gauge wire so it's a little more delicate than the 20 gauge which makes the frame and we're just going to go all the way around right in there. You can adjust the circle if you need. Bring that one over there and then we're just going to wind that one. So I'll just take a little four millimeter miracle bead, put it on there, and then I'm just going to wind this one around to the back. And then I can form some little leaves on there. I'm just going to just going to make sure this isn't going to be too big. So again, with the round nose pliers, you can just go in, bring this one up, bring this one to the back, and then bring that one down. So we have like a little flower. This one I'm going to just push up towards the top just sits discreetly behind the petal and I'm going to push this one in place and I can just take this and wind it across the top so we're going to go in here and if you want it more secure just bring it around the around the bale so it won't kind of go back and you can cut it and just give it a little pinch there and then at the bottom we can just wind that around in there to get it to sit in place. Give it a good little pull. Cut it again. And then just pinch it in. These handles are nice and soft. I like the way they feel. So now we can put the pendant directly on a piece of tiger tail and we can put some beads on either side. So once you have your beads on there, just put your crimps. I'm using two millimeter smooth crimps and there are measurements on the crimpers depending on what size crimps you're using. You can use two millimeter, one millimeter or three millimeter. So the first thing you have to do is put the crimp in that little crevice which is called the crimping station. So we're just going to go ahead and sit the crimp in the crimping station and then give it a good squeeze like that and then we'll do the same thing on the other one to get it nice and secure and make sure the beads are snug there and we're just going to give it okay so now they've been uh, crimped and then what you want to do is fold them so now at this point you can just open it up and we're going to go to the two millimeter folding station. We'll just turn the crimp on its side, put it in the folding station and give it a pinch. So it makes it nice and closed and secure. Same thing here. So we're just going to turn the crimp on its side, put this in the folding section and give it a pinch and that'll close up the crimp. So now we can do the same thing on the ends. So what I like to do is put the crimp on here and then I use a split ring as the part of the clasp and then I'll just take the end of the crimpers, they're like chain nose pliers, hold the end of the tiger tail, bend it back through the crimp, let's push it back through there and then we want to put it in the crimping station again. So you can see there's like a little ditch there so just stick the crimp in the ditch and give it a good squeeze. Okay so it's being kind of bent and then now we're going to turn it at an angle, put it in the right folding station and then just give it a little pinch and it closes up the crimp nicely. Same thing for the hook, we're going to put the crimp on and then we're going to put the hook on the tiger tail and then put the end back through the crimp. Okay just so it's just barely through there and then we're going to put it in the crimping station again. So stick it in there, give it a pinch and you'll see it makes like this kind of C shape. It's kind of bent already and then we're going to get this and 
turn the crimp on its side, put it in the folding station, and pinch it, and it closes it up really nicely. I find these very easy to use. They're easier than other crimping tools that I have, so I would highly recommend these. We're just going to go like that, close it up, and there we have our beautiful necklace with the little flower pendant. So overall I'm really happy with the Zeron tools. They have nice soft handles that are easy to grip. The metal is a nice quality, nice and smooth. It's nice to have the tweezer nose pliers and the long nose pliers. These ones are a little wider, these are finer at the tips, and the bent nose pliers are practical to get into little nooks and crannies. The round nose pliers are nice, the tips are nice and small, the metal is smooth. I would also add to your repertoire to get some round nose pliers that are slightly larger as well to do larger loops. The double flush cutters are great especially if you have a long piece of wire and you want to cut many pieces that are flush on both ends. I would also add a pair of micro shear flush cutters to your toolbox because it's always good to have pointy nose flush cutters to get into tiny nooks and crannies. The crimpers are great, they're easy to use, they're better than any I've ever used before, and there's spaces for three different sizes of crimps.